Honoured Judge, that I have to address a joint public meeting with Baba Ramdev in Mavlamgarh Auditorium at 3.30. And therefore, I wanted to inform the court. Uh, and he said, you come before 12.30. And it is my confidence, based on the ambience in the court, that an order would be delivered today. So you are expecting, I mean, are you again reading the body language or do you have any information that the order will be given at 12.15? I am smelling the ambience inside the court. So there you have it, Dr. Subramaniam Swami saying that he is smelling the ambience inside the court. What do you mean by smelling the ambience in the court? Uh, what do you mean by swelling the ambience in the court? Can you just tell us all our uh, viewers have their eyes on you, Dr. Swami? I am an experienced person. I know what is what is what uh, what is going to happen as a premonition, and therefore I am telling you that I have been asked to be present in court before 12:30, and uh, I will be, and I can add two and two and get four instead of 22, as some channels are getting nowadays, and. Uh, I can say that I am confident that a judgment will be delivered today. Dr. Swami, you tweeted yesterday and that's what got everybody guessing uh, whether uh, there will be a, a little bit of a delay. Uh, so have you changed, has something changed between your tweet last night and uh, the ambience that you read this morning? No, I was preparing the patriotic tweeters who are very, uh, very, very uh, sympathetic to me and very enthusiastic not to expect a 2020 game in, uh, in law. Uh, it is true that Supreme Court in rapid fire has hit a hit number of sixers. So they don't expect every day a sixer because then they, um, if your moods go up like this, they will also come down. So therefore I am trying to teach an even temper to my to a triple friends. And that is what I said. Even if it is adjourned as it is being said by the Congress, uh, even then don't be disappointed. Law is a process. And we have to respect that process. Dr. Swami, uh, you know, uh, everybody is talking about uh, uh, this uh, entire judgment that is coming. Are you also bringing down the hopes on the judgment or are you still bullish about the judgment? That only the media channels are trying to play Mr. Chidambaram's role and trying to give him, console him a little. The Supreme Court judgments are in no way support of Mr. Chidambaram. And one lawyer, in fact, went to the ridiculous extent of saying on Times Now, that after every paragraph they have not said this, uh, this should not influence the trial court. In the end they have said this, that nothing should influence the uh, trial court. The fact that Mr. Chidambaram was not consulted by Raja is an indictment of Mr. Chidambaram because he was empowered to decide with him. He himself says he was empowered to decide with him. And therefore if, if it is so that Raja didn't ignore, that means Raja had a pre-arrangement with Chidambaram and these are matters which have to be fought in court. And uh, it is in no way a uh, clean chip to Mr. Chidambaram as some media channels are making out. Dr. Swami, what's your bet today? At 12.15, what's the kind of order are you expecting? I am expecting victory for the fight against corruption. And what happens after that? In case the uh, order doesn't go the way uh, you expect it to, what's your next step going to be? That's like asking if this tree falls on my head, what will I do next? I'll go to the hospital. <laughs> Same way, if a judgment goes adverse, I will go to the higher court.